It's time for Finance Friday, sponsored by Compass Retirement Solutions, and we are back with Tom Elder, Vice President of Financial Solutions, to talk about debt. Tom, thanks so much for being here with us. Absolutely. Although nobody really likes talking about no, debt. No, you know? we don't, especially when you have a lot of it and you are about to stop working. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's one of those scary topics for people is that sometimes they even put off retirement just because they have some debt and they don't feel comfortable going into retirement. But in my opinion, it's okay to go into retirement. Shoot, over 40% of Americans nowadays retire and they have a mortgage that they're still paying off. So that's normal at this stage of the game. It's more about what's the strategy behind the debt. Especially that house debt. I mean, how should someone handle house debt? What is the advice that you give people? Yeah, so so it, it honestly, it depends on the situation because for some folks, if the mortgage balance is low enough and maybe there's only a few more years to pay it off and they have plenty of reserves set aside, it can make sense, absolutely, especially with the peace of mind of not having that big bill. Now, in doing so, there's some strategies that you might want to look at. It might be, you know, paying it off over a couple of years because what happens, let's say you have a $100,000 uh, $100, left on your house to pay off. Well, if you're pulling from your 401k after you retire to pay off that $100,000, you might have to pay, pull actually $130,000 to pay Ooh. the taxes on the hundred to then pay the house off. That doesn't sound exciting. No, <laughs> so sometimes it makes sense to maybe wait until you're in that, that first year of retirement because your income is lower, so your taxes might be lower. Sometimes it makes sense to split it off over a couple of years or three years because that way you're not having 100,000, might be 50 grand a year for a couple of years. And so there's different ways that you definitely want to take a look at the taxes, look at the impact, and then just make an informed decision. There's a method behind the madness. Always, always a method. <laughs> there's more than one way to retire. It's more about what's the right way for you. And I love that. And it really is about customizing your retirement plan. Yeah. So we talked about that house debt, that mortgage, getting that paid off. But what if you have some high credit card debt? That's yeah. a different subject. Yeah, so credit cards, um, it depends, right? So some credit cards will be zero interest. Some will be 14, 22, 30% interest. And, and so when you start looking at some of those higher interest payments, yeah, it typically makes sense to pay those off going into retirement. And so it's which accounts of which funds do you use then? Because as we know, the market is down quite a bit this year. Mm -hmm. And so the last thing that we want to do is, is take out when it's down 22%. So maybe there's some other investments that we can look at. Maybe there is some safer stuff that you have. Um, but at the end of the day, when we're paying off credit card debt, you know, there's the debt snowball method where you start with the smallest one and you build up as you go. Um, or you can start looking at what's the highest interest rate and you pay that off first. So some psychology behind the two, but regardless of what you choose, um, definitely paying off high interest credit card debt is a way to go when you're in retirement. Well, that is a great way to think and I appreciate you for sharing in your knowledge about getting those debts down when it comes to retirement. There's also some amazing gems in this book. Yeah, so our book, The Nine Critical Decisions to Make Before You Retire, we called it Retire Early. Uh, written by our founder, Marvin Mitchell. We're giving that away for free. All they have to do is head to RethinkingRetirement.net. We talk about taxes, Social Security, debt, um, just income strategies throughout retirement. Highly encourage anybody that's thinking about retiring or freshly in retirement, take a look at this book. There's lots of good information for you. I know, and you can, again, get it just like Tom just said, at no cost to you. It's your no cost, peace of mind retirement toolkit. All you have to do is head to their website at rethinkingretirement.net. That website, one more time, is rethinkingretirement.net. This has been another edition of Finance Friday, sponsored by Compass Retirement Solutions. And Tom, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Chelsea. Appreciate it. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.